Kelly Jackson. Time to go inside the numbers to bring you the uh, news of the day. Everyone talking about the Georgia's 6th Congressional District. Democrat John Ossoff just shy of the 50% needed. He will have a runoff. He got 48% of the vote. And all the other people that got 52% combined got 7,000 more votes than he got. And it is very similar to the percentages that Hillary Clinton got and Donald Trump got in the general election. So for all of the bluster, uh, vote people voted exactly the same. The face-off will be against Karen Handel, round two, June 20th. Listen to this. What percentage of the Florida inmates incarcerated for opioid trafficking have never been in prison before. Okay, say that again. What's the percentage? What percentage of the Florida inmates are in jail for opioid abuse that have never been convicted of anything other than opioid abuse? Ooh, I'm going to say 32%. 63% of the inmates in Florida are in prison for uh, opioid abuse. They've got to have some serious overcrowding. That's unbelievable. Um, H-1B visa applications received in the first five days after the government started accepting them on April 3rd. The visa intended for high-skilled foreign workers has never seen increased demand until this year when the number of applications dropped below 200,000 for the first time since 2014. What's interesting is everyone talks about high-skilled workers. And they complain about, you know, high school workers taking jobs, low school workers taking jobs from Americans. How come they never complain about, like, baseball players taking jobs from American baseball players? Yeah. Right? Or football or players taking jobs from football players. Celebrities taking jobs from models. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Right? Why are we, why are we importing models from the Ukraine when we have Americans who could do those jobs? <laughs> right? I mean, it's, I've always thought that to be somewhat mm. weird. And finally, estimate for the Amazon's online shoe business. Which accounts for 26% of all online shoe sales. Really? Yes. Buying shoes on Amazon accounts for 26% of all online shoes. Zappos, which Amazon owns, likely accounts for only a small fraction of those sales. Really? Yes. I've never ordered a pair of shoes from Amazon. Well, then you're one of the 74% of Americans. Mm -hmm. What percentage... Of online shoe business is Amazon.com in numbers. $136 billion. That is cray. From shoes on Amazon.com. Jeez. Zappos. I can't believe Zappos is such a small a fraction of it. Yeah. Why don't they just, why I do mean, they... you can literally order a pair of shoes from Zappos. And you get it well. Have you ordered you shoes from Zappos? Oh yeah. Well, so so you really order them from Amazon. You just didn't know right. you were ordering them from Amazon. Right. Just didn't know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Huh. That that includes, by the way, uh, the fraction from Zappos. 136 billion in shoes on Amazon.com. Uh, shoes online is great because you're like, I, it, it's a size nine. Give me a size nine. You don't need to see the shoe, right? You don't need to. Yeah. Usually it's pretty true to size. Yeah. Plus, when you wear 14s like me, stores <laughs> don't carry 14s, so I got to go online. You make you me. Don't wear a fourteen. Yes, I do. They you make... do? Yes. Shoe stores make me look like a freak. By the Hi, way, do you have any fourteens? Fourteen? What are you, a clown? <laughs> no. You have nice shoes. Thanks. You always do, and you have nice feet. Do you know why? You have great toes. Do you know why? Because I go to Zappos. <laughs> it's Seven thirty-four, Big Five Fifty, KTRS. Taco Bell.